creating a very basic custom report in Google Analytics. So in this lesson, we're going to go over creating the most basic of Google Analytics custom reports. Now, as we mentioned, the point of custom reports are really to zoom in on specific information, and that may be a specific marketing objective or a specific set of metrics, so that ourselves or other stakeholders in our organization can quickly digest information and make marketing decisions. So this is a multi-step process, which basically starts with us planning our report. So we, ahead of time, want to figure out exactly what the report needs to look like in the end. We'll do some basic report setups, adding the report metrics we want to see, adding the dimensions we want to see, we're going to set up some basic filters, we'll test our report, and then we'll go over the different sharing options. So the best way to look at this is probably with a specific scenario. So let's take John, he's our company's owner. He's a smart guy, but he doesn't like to get buried in the details. It cuts into his golf time. So anyways, he's asked us to provide him with a report that outlines our email marketing efforts. Specifically, he wants to see a monthly report which shows all of our email marketing campaigns and how much coin it put in his pocket. So let's outline the bullet points. First, we know we need to give John a monthly report. We know that we need to show him only email marketing traffic. We know that he wants to see the email campaign names. And then he wants us to relate that to revenue. So let's start building it. And that begins with the basic setup. So in Google Analytics, this time we're going to use the top navigation bar and we're going to click on Customization. This will bring us into our Custom Report section. And what we can do here is just click New Custom Report. So for John's report, let's just call it John's Report. Maybe we'll get a little more specific and say Email Marketing Basic. Okay. So now what we want to do is figure out what metrics do we need and what dimensions do we need. So based on our situation, John said all he wants to see is revenue. That's all he cares about. So what we're going to do in custom reporting is click right here, Add Metric. That provides us with a list of all of our metrics. And the easiest way to use this is actually to just start typing in the metric you want to see. If you don't know how it's named, you can actually browse through. But I'm going to start typing in the word revenue. I'm going to scroll down under e-commerce here and we're going to say revenue. So all John wants to see is revenue as far as the metrics go. When you think of metrics, think of them like the quantitative value, the quantitative part of this report. Now next thing we need to do is dimensions. So dimensions is more about the source or the campaign, non-quantitative features. So in this example, we know that John wanted to see revenue, and we also know that he wanted to see the campaign name. So what we're going to start doing is just typing in the word campaign under dimensions, and we can pull in the campaign name. So the next step is to set filters. John made it very clear that all he wants to see is email marketing efforts. So under filters here, we are going to add a filter where our medium because email is set as a medium, is going to include. So the way a filter works is we can do include or exclude. Um, we can choose the dimension, and then we can choose the way we want to match it. And for the sake of the basic report, we're just going to use exact match. And as we start to type in the word email, you can see it autofills based on data that it has. So let's just review this quickly. We have a report that is going to show the revenue metric, the campaign dimension, and is only going to include campaigns whose medium matches email. So now all we need to do is hit the Save button, and that's going to bring us right to our report. Now here is John's basic email marketing report. Up top we get our chart as we standard, pretty standard for Google Analytics, and down below we can see all the campaign names, and the amount of revenue that they generated during this period. Now we have to think about this in terms of we've got this great report, how do we share it with John? So the great thing about custom reports and all Google reports so that we can share it using the export function, for example. So we could just export this as a PDF and, that would, and potentially just email it to John. But if John wants to see it on a monthly basis, maybe a better way to do this is to use the email feature where we can put in John's email address. There's the subject line. We can decide the attachment type. PDFs are usually easiest to look at, so we would do that. 
And then frequency, we could say, let's do this monthly on the first day of the month. There are some advanced options here where we can keep this active for a certain amount of time. Um, we'll just leave it for six months for now. And we could also put in a little body text that says, hi, John. Here's your report. And then we click the send button. And what this will do is on the first day of each month, automatically generate this report and send it to John. So John will think we're working hard and he'll get the information he wants and we can sit back and relax.